You see, there are many people sign up every day, whether it's in Philippines or in China or in Thailand or in New Zealand or Australia or in the United States. Every day, a lot of people sign up in that way. But unfortunately, not too many of them are successful in the business. There must be reason, right? The first question, do you believe in the products? I think this is a very, very important question. If your answer is no, don't do the business. You are not going to make it in the happy business. So a lot of people sign up for excited and they started getting customers, started to uh, prospecting as well, and they fail. You know why? Because they have no belief in the happy business. I can't make you believe in the happy business. You've got to believe it in yourself because belief got to develop from within. You are going to build a business of yourself. You're going to build a company. You need customer, and you are your first customer. I encourage you to buy the e spring as soon as possible because that proves that you believe in the product. Second question is you better ask yourself do you believe in the company? Do you believe in Amway? Is Amway a good company? Is Amway a solid company? I think this is a very important question. Every Amway people need to answer. If the answer is no, don't do the business. Stop doing the business. You can never build this business because you have no faith in the company. All right? And remember, I want to stretch it over and over again. Believe got to be developed from within. That you convince yourself, that you tell yourself, that you say, I believe in the company. You know, that kind of belief is really powerful. And when you have that kind of belief, you develop that company, nothing can stop you. You got to go on to ask the third question. Do you believe in the sales and marketing plan? Do you know how the sales and marketing plan work? Do you believe that the plan is fair? So I analyze a lot of our sales and marketing plan. I say, I put in the time and effort. I get so many customers. I sponsor so many people. I got so many sales. I build that kind of volume. How much I get and how much my sponsor get, right? Maybe you have a lot of question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. And then you got to take out all the question mark until you are totally convinced that yes, this is a fantastic sales and marketing plan. I believe in the plan. Once you have the belief in the sales and marketing plan, once you know that every is not a pyramid scheme, every is a parallel because everyone can move up. Everyone can become an ambassador. The fourth question, which is equally important, is do you believe in the future or do you believe in the potential of the business? Do you believe in the market or not? If you don't ask yourself this question, yet you are not convinced. Tomorrow you go out and talk to prospects, and the prospect asks you the same question. Oh, no lah, it's too late to join Amway. So many people are doing the business. Do you believe in the market, the market, the Philippine market? Okay, so for those of you, if the answer is no, you do not believe in Philippine. You do not believe in the potential of the market. You don't think Philippines will grow. You don't think M Philippines can be like Malaysia. As far as I'm concerned, I see no reason why M with Philippines cannot be bigger than M with Malaysia. We have much more population than Malaysia. The economy in the Philippines is growing faster than Malaysia. And we have eight crown ambassadors in Malaysia. I see no reason why we cannot even have a crown ambassador in the Philippines. I don't believe that. I believe in the market of every Philippine. I believe in the potential of this market. And that is the reason why I keep coming to Philippines because I believe in the market and I believe in the future of this market. I always believe that, you know, if a company can be that, that successful, if a company can build up to that side, there must be something special. It's not just about products. It's not just about the sales and marketing. Right? It's not just about the management, you know, who and which management manager are really fantastic. No, I tell you, it's the philosophy of the business. It's the value of the business. And if you can understand, you know, what makes every special, if you can understand the value of the business, the concept, you will never give up the business easily. No matter what challenges you face, you will stick to this business because why? Because you appreciate the 
what you call philosophy. You love the philosophy and you have that firm faith and belief in the philosophers. And it's not just a business, but it's an attitude towards life. Don't you think this learning a fantastic business? Yes. yes. Do you love this kind of philosophy? Yes. Do you like this kind of concept? Yes. Rich and Jay say, you know, Amway is not just about business. Amway business is built. The foundation is built on integrity, honesty, and trust. It's a trustworthy company. It's an honest business. It's a business of integrity. So one of the reasons why I'm successful in Amway business because I think I know how to motivate people. So if you want to become successful in every business, you better learn how to be motivated, how to motivate other people. There are two ways that you can motivate people. You can be motivated by fear. The second way is you can be motivated by reward. But I believe that these two methods only work temporarily. The only lasting thing is to be self-motivated. So in other words, only people who know how to motivate himself or herself, the motivation can be last forever. So I think you must learn how to motivate yourself. Now, one of the best way to motivate ourselves is to have a dream. I think this is the best thing, okay? So ask yourself why you want to be the average What is your dream? And then, you know, every day think about the dream. Secondly is you must learn to talk to yourself. Now, every day, every one of you, every time when you go out and meet a prospect, condition your mind first. Because remember, just now I said, you need to motivate yourself first before you can motivate others. No. No. That's why this business uh, is simple business. I know there are challenges. I know there are a lot of problems. But you must understand that you need to learn to motivate yourself. Only self-motivation can last forever. And you need to do it every day. So every day, keep telling yourself, I can do it. Morning, five times. Before you sleep, five times. I can do it. 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 Don't you think it's fantastic? Yes. I think it's even more important that you start to learn how you can motivate yourself. I think it's even but more important that you really start to believe in yourself. Yes. Okay, I think this is more powerful. Yes. If you really believe, not just a company, not just a product, not just a plan, not just the future, not just the potential, but you believe in yourself. Don't you think this is even more powerful? Yes. Okay, so this last thing is, do you, are you willing to put in effort to do the business. So, please, if your new downline cannot ask this question, why you want him to start? Nobody can succeed in Amway without putting in effort. You got to give it what it takes to become successful in the Amway business. So I think this is a legitimate question. It's a very good question. If the answer is yes, I'm willing to put in effort. I'm willing to work. Nothing can stop you already. Okay? And the reason why I spend so much time to talk to you this couple of questions because I really want you to understand why people succeed in the every business, why people fail in the every business. Not because every business is difficult to do, it's because most people they do not have the belief 